Coming up on Look Today, well, the opening of the Courtyard Marriott Hotel in Lake George hopes to bring tourism all year long. I've got details. And Crew Coffee Shop in Saratoga Springs opens and hopes to be a game changer in the coffee brewing industry. More on that coming up. And we've got an update on the PFOA contamination and its spread into Washington County. I've got those details. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. In tonight's program, I sit down with William Lockery. He's an historical and political author and he's here to talk about Charles Evans Hughes, who was a towering political figure in the early 20th century. Plus, I also sit down with Ed Bartholomew. He's the president of the EDC of Warren County. He's here to talk about the revitalization projects in Warren County. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, we've got an update on a story we began telling you about earlier this week. The Courtyard Marriott Hotel in Lake George has finally opened after a long anticipation and many are excited about what this will do for downtown Lake George and tourism. Well, five years ago, when the project was suggested by Mayor Blaze, he had a clear vision of a community-based collaboration. Well, developers Dave Kenny and Frank Dietrich joined in and built the year-round resort. Well, we spoke to Frank about the new hotel. We're really excited about the Courtyard Marriott in Lake George, New York. This represents a monumental uh, event here in the village. Uh, Six-story construction, open year-round, uh, really built to attract new guests to the Lake George area. Uh, so we're excited to have been able to be open this past Monday. Now, the new hotel will hopefully bring more tourism to the Lake George area during the off-seasons all year round. Well, we spoke to Michael Consuelo. He's the executive director of the Lake George Regional Chamber of Commerce. Uh, what we're really is excited about is that the, the fact that it's going to be a, a year-round uh, property, as are some of the other hotels that elect to stay open during the uh, winter season. But uh, with the new Marriott and its, exten its extensive meeting space, uh, that's just going to help us uh, hopefully extend the season beyond the traditional Memorial Day to Columbus Day season, which everybody tends to think that's the only time we're open. And I know that Laura and Dave and Frank work real hard on that hotel, and it is beautiful. Switching from news to weather. Well, today saw increased temperatures with occasional bursts of sunshine. Let's see how the Labor Day weekend is shaping up for a more detailed look at our weather. We're going to head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to the news. Well, you know we like to talk about entrepreneurs. Well, a new coffee shop has opened in Saratoga Springs. Crew Coffee, located at 46 Marion Avenue inside the Fresh Market Plaza in Saratoga, hopes to be a game changer in brewing and serving coffee, not only in the area, but maybe on the East Coast. The business roasts all of its products in-house and specializes in high artisan-style coffee. Well, the coffee beans are from all over the world and are organic and fair trade certified. Well, we spoke to Luke Rock. He's a co-founder and barista at Crew Coffee. And we got our start um, with Ryan Miller, Jared Fields, and Christy Brock. We've all worked together in cafes before. Ryan owns Spectre Coffee Roasters in Glens Falls. And uh, we all came together with uh, an idea to open up a more third wave cafe, which means we focus on socially responsible practices such as fair trade organic, um, direct trade with the farmers, and Rainforest Alliance Green Coffee. Congratulations to these guys. Uh, Drew, by the way, came back, said it was the best coffee he's had. In other news, well, we got an update on a story concerning PFOA contamination. Further tests have shown that PFOA contamination might have spread into Washington County. Now, this would have been through Hoosick River and its tributaries. Well, the DEC started conducting tests to determine the source of this contamination. The PFOA chemical is used in nonstick coatings at factories. Now, Hoosick Falls found contamination in its drinking water this past winter. 
And now further research shows that the chemical might have spread. A number of treatment systems have been installed at various entry points of the contamination. Well, currently officials do not know exactly how this might have spread into Washington County. Some speculate that it might have been the flooding of the Hoosick River into White Creek. That happened years back. And we're going to have updates on this story, and as we gather more information, you bet we're going to keep you updated. Up next, I sit down with William Lockery. He's an historical and political author. He's here to talk about Charles Evans Hughes, who was a towering political figure of the 20th century who lived in Glens Falls. Plus, I sit down with Ed Bartholomew. He's the president of the EDC of Warren County. He's here to talk about the revitalization projects happening in downtown Glens Falls in Warren County. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea. How about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. I got a bunch of lookouts tonight. Well, our tribute to Gene Wilder continues to attract attention and comments. A viewer told me, don't forget the line, put the candle back. You know, I don't know about you, but any of those lines, you can't say them without starting to laugh because Gene Wilder just absolutely knew how to deliver a line. Um, Andrew Gabriels is still in the lead in the Gene Wilder interpretation between Andrew, Drew, and myself. Drew has been checking Facebook to see if he's going to finally overtake him, but it looks like Andrew's going to win. Um, this, some of you are going to think this is political. It's not, but another viewer, P, uh, emailed me and said <laughs> something I thought was funny. He said, it, Trump, instead of wasting his time going to Mexico, should go to Raul's. I thought that was funny. Raul's is a great Mexican restaurant in downtown Glens Falls. Uh, I want to make you aware of a kind of Woodstock event this weekend that's going to be a really pretty interesting. It's called the Adirondack Sonic Experience, and you can find out about it on Facebook. It's up in Hadley, uh, out in the field up in Hadley. It's going to be all weekend long. If you're a musician, you can go up there, you can perform. If you're an actor, you can go up there and do a script, a lines, or whatever. It's open to anyone creative. A really great idea. Find out about it on Facebook at Adirondack Sonic Experience. And one last thing. Uh, as you know, uh, we're a small, mighty team here, and if one of us takes a day off, then we all have to take the day off. So guess what? We're not here tomorrow. We're going to take a long weekend, and we all deserve it. All right, everybody. Have a safe Labor Day weekend, and we'll see you back here next Tuesday. Good night, everyone.